Welcome back, everybody. Happy Monday. I hope you had a good weekend. You probably were indoors, right? Sitting on the couch. That's what I did because it's just getting too warm. Uh, unbelievable uh, as it is, uh, it is still 101 degrees today. Uh, That's the current temperature. And uh, you're thinking it's just going to get worse. And I'm, I'm going to tell you that in August, I think it all peaks somewhere about the end of August because what we're waiting for now is for the sun to get lower on the horizon, and that's not going to really happen until September. So we've got a lot of uh, more heat to go with. Uh, of course, the heat index feels bad. The actual temperature today was 103, happened right at uh, about four, just before four o'clock. That uh, ties the record of 103 set back in. I wasn't even born in 1913, and uh, it's been it's a 100-year-old record. Think about that for a minute. Our average should be about 96, but we haven't done anything average in a while. Now that it's the end of the month, we start doing a little calculating for you. Victoria, we've had six days of 100 degree plus, okay? That's for July. And then for El Paso, they have 27 days. Almost the entire month, they were over 100 degrees. And Dallas, of course, uh, hot and dry up there. They've had 15 days of over 100 degree days. So it's going to be uh, certainly a summer for the record books. As you can see, everybody, even down in the coastal areas, uh, were at 100 degrees. So uh, it is going to be uh, brutally hot for the next week. And I'll show you why I'm saying that. These are the forecast highs for tomorrow across the entire state. Did, is that? Okay, I thought I saw 191, but no, just 101. Don't want to exaggerate too much. Uh, the heat index, uh, of course, uh, keeps us on the hard, uh, the rough side of things. So it's still going to be up and around. And you'll notice that all of the dome or the highest pressures is uh, right on top of us. That's why we're getting so warm. Next couple of days, in about, um, in about four days, it's going to back up a little bit and it should grow to cover all of the southwest again. When that happens, we get a little bit of a break. Let's talk about the tropics. Uh, we have two systems that are potentially uh, active, however, neither of which are going to affect us. This is the first one. This is Invest uh, 96, and you can see right there in the middle of the Atlantic, and then Invest 97, as you can see right here, already pulling away from the mainland. Both of those not going to be an issue. They're going to go up here and uh, run across the northern Atlantic. Uh, people were asking maybe about the Atlantic Meridional Oceanic Current. That's the one that's potentially going to break down. And later this week, stay tuned, I'm going to have you a nice little map to sort of explain what that is. Just, just remember one thing, that the ocean currents take the heat from the Atlantic and spread it north and south. So that helps parts of the north stay milder, uh, and it prevents the heat from piling up in the central uh, equator. But that may be changing for us. Big dome is on top of us. That's why it's so hot. Next couple of days, it's actually expected to back up a little bit. And when it does, it's going to give us a, just a tiny, tiny little break. Actually, uh, we may see a few isolated showers by the time we get to next weekend. So for those of you in Port Lavaca, sunny, hot, 97. For those of you in Cuero, sunny and hot, getting up to 101. And for everybody else, we're going to be hovering in the low 100s for a couple of days, getting then, then the 99. But it looks like a hot, dry weekend week all the way through until maybe early on Monday of next week when we've got a whopping 20% chance of a little sprinkle. Keep your fingers crossed, folks. Uh, sooner or later, fall will arrive. And that's when all the trees turn colors. Oh, no, they, that's when they die, I guess. Uh, no, <laughs> we're, we're just, we have to laugh, otherwise we're going to cry. So that is the hot weather facts for you today, and we'll toss it back to James and Karina. All 